say you want it Me jump in You write books, film, song I think that's how it ends The way you work for you Then my fear respect it, my friend Nah, I beg nobody, no Yes, yes, yes. Hello, hello, hello. Jay Mullings from Rent and Mirror, aka Wicked Penman. Today's topic. I guess I just wanted to talk about, you know, life and what it expects of us. We sort of, I don't know, well, I, I can only speak for myself, but we kind of grew up expecting things to just kind of fall in place magically as we get older. Like, you know, when we're young, Again, I can't speak for everyone, but the, the overriding feeling is I can't wait to be grown, right? Like, you know, <laughs> I remember <laughs> I remember seeing letters coming through the post and thinking, you know, I want that. You know, I, I'd, I'd love to receive lots and lots of letters. And, and then as I've grown, <laughs> grown up, <laughs> I hate bloody letters. I hate le receiving letters. It's never nothing good, right? So it's a bill or someone trying to um, scam you or something. Ugh. Or then, you know, the odd invite from the, the blood bank to come give back um, blood again. But yeah, pretty much nothing good comes through the post. There's never, uh, you know, an, a, a check from HMRC to say, you know what, we think you're, you think you're all right, you know. So we'd like to give show us a, a token of your appreciation. Here you go. Here's like a smooth 200k or something. <laughs> but yeah, life doesn't doesn't work that way for, for for some of us i'm sure there are you know there are some instant successes who went out and made it happen you know everything just they just executed a plan they saw it in their heads and bam 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 and everything and millionaires by their 20 so on and so forth yes it's happened we've seen that for, but for the vast majority of us we expect you know maybe not by 20 to have everything in place but we expect as we as we continue to grow and we continue to do the right things and we expect and maybe not even expect but we hope that you know this thing pays off and by the time we get to a certain age and stage in life you know but it doesn't always happen that way just because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean it will never happen i guess that's the kind of thing we gotta keep reminding ourselves right like it will pay off eventually and that's the hope right but even, even, and I say it's like hypothetically, even if all the work and all the right things don't pay off, in a way, they serve as an example to other people. People you don't necessarily think are watching, people you don't necessarily think are paying attention, people you don't even necessarily think would, would have a rapport with what you're saying, you know, or it would resonate with them. It, it. It happens. People can know when something is real and authentic and genuine. And they can also see through it when it's fake and orchestrated. So if you're doing the right things and you're trying and you're trying and you're trying. And it's just not happening. Honestly, please believe. Like even if it never happens for you, that 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 work you that body of work you've done or that, that collection of deeds you you've you've um you've seen through it's going to it's going to help and benefit someone so i'm maybe i'm mostly saying this to myself right because i feel like i put the work in i've got a very reasonable work rate um i keep i try to keep very high standards i try to be very open and honest about what it is i'm after and so on and so forth and but for some reason it just hasn't you know hasn't it didn't it has it's not managed to break the way i wanted it to break but then i never really lose heart because i'm doing something i love at the end of the day like i'm doing things i love i should say several things that and i've always managed to find a way to put myself in a situation to continue on the journey uh when i started filming you know, I had minimal equipment, minimal experience with with some of the equipment I had. I, I, you know, I got it and had to learn how to use it on the go. There were some things that I didn't even know I needed. So 
ended up that I didn't have the resources to get everything I need, like to cover all the bases, but I got like a good spread and I learned to use things and but yeah, it's interesting because like I said, um for the longest I wanted a drone and then when I do finally get one, obviously I had to learn how to use it properly, so on and so forth, to the point now where I feel pretty confident and I'm also like, hmm, like what else is out there? I wish I could have a bigger drone, but then again I have to keep saying to myself one day everything will fall into place one day you'll be able to you know have a hundred percent of the things you want just because even if it doesn't end up being of any use to you that will that you know that's a that's something you'll be able to experience you'll be able to be in a position for once of having too much rather than just enough or too little and even then I'm not necessarily motivated by money and numbers and I, but it would just it would just be nice to not have to worry about certain things. And when I say worry, like not have to fix it on them, not have to waste any mental energy on things. You just know that certain things you're just taking care of. That they're, they're just never going to be an issue ever again going forwards. That'd be nice. But again, I know this is life, and not many of us live to to have that kind of access to. I can't even call it happiness, but kind of financial. Yeah, financial emancipation, shall we say that? Where it's like you, you're out of the, the, the kind of... You don't have to worry about the the helter-skelter and the hustle and bustle to get it. Like, you have what you need, and then obviously you, you focus on building from there. But yeah, I guess mostly... I've been saying but yeah a lot. I don't know why. Mostly, like I said, I wanted to send a message to the people out there if you're like me and you're working really hard trying really hard things haven't fallen the way you thought they would don't give up don't give in keep going saying this to myself as well because there is something inside you right something inside you that every time you 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 stay on course you're feeding that thing and that thing is going to be what what, end, what ends up delivering exactly what you need you might not the might the whole plan might not be available to your to your subconscious just yet but keep putting in the work keep putting the pieces together and it will happen i would say i promise but i can't do that <laughs> and it hasn't happened for me yet so yeah my promise would wouldn't mean much to you anyway but i'm hoping to anyone that sees this anyone that's watching this Hope all your dreams come true. I sincerely hope that you, you know, you live to see all the success that you want, that you've always wanted to achieve, and because I hope prosperity rains down upon you. Right? <laughs> what a day it will be when we can kind of look back on things like this and say, you know what? I always knew it was going to be all right, and this was how many years or how many weeks or how many months before it was all right, but I knew. That's the kind of faith I'd like you to have in yourself. Never give up on yourself. Right? Never. Don't let them take that from you. When I say them as in like anything that's not feeding your ambition, not feeding your goals, not feeding you on your journey to or nourishing you on your journey to what you want. Don't let that er don't let that erode your mind and your heart. Don't let that happen. <laughs> um announcement time like i said i've got an ep coming out called um, one wpm one wicked penman and i would say it's my life's work but i didn't i never knew i was going to do music but it's something i've tried i've put a lot of effort into it a lot of time into it and i'm hoping that like i said you be willing to check it out and i hope you enjoy it if not then <laughs> i hope it's not the worst thing you've ever heard like you know but yeah uh, it's, it'll be on all your your favorite streaming platforms yeah please check it out and yeah leave a comment like subscribe if you see this on the one wicked penman channel follow the written mirror channel if you see this on the written mirror channel follow the one wicked penman channel all right jay mullings written mirror aka wicked penman i'm out